Hey, what's up? It's time for more Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We're doing episodes 36 and 37 today. Um, and I mean, the last few episodes have been so good, mostly because Olivier has been a great character and has really like, just, it's just been so entertaining for me. Like I love, I love this character. So I like this arc because it's just a, you know, a nice new setting to be in, but also, um, I feel like I wouldn't care about the setting too much if it weren't for the great characters. And not just Olivier, but also uh, Miles, is that his name? Um, I really liked him as well. So um, yeah, we're in the middle of a plan right now. We kind of probably know the plans of our villains, like somewhat for the first time. So um, we're trying to prepare for that as well. Look, I'm excited to jump into this episode. So this is episode 36. Make sure to support the video on the channel if you can. And my Patreon account is in the description below. If you want the full length reactions, early access, exclusive videos, you can get the next like bunch of episodes. I don't know how many, 10 to, 10 to 15 or something episodes on there right now. So go check it out. Let's jump into this episode 36 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Gianni. Looking at Hohenheim. Forgive me, but I have to use you. Hmm? Oh! What the fuck? Family portrait. 13 years ago. What? Now? Hmm. If it could spread that way, don't you think I would have caught it a long time ago? The monster. But then. I met you, and together we created two sons. She, she's like, I know, I was there. Now it's different. My sons age and grow before my eyes, and suddenly I'm terrified. Oh. Hmm. Dear, dear, you know we don't have a single family picture. That's pretty short notice. That's fine. You'll be right. You look great. Here, you hold Ed, all right? <laughs> uh, sure. This isn't good. Oh, <laughs> and look how happy he is to be held oh, by you. Right here. Is it someday I'm going to be a wrinkled old monster myself? Um. So today. I don't know about we're that. Going to take this picture mm. and one other thing too. Stop calling yourself a monster. It's not true. <laughs> I love her. Smile, dear. <laughs> oh Jesus, that was a bit too loud. Oh, he's crying. Oh. Oh, I didn't expect that. The <laughs> plan was to grow old and die with them. Oh. Bastard. Okay, this is really interesting. I'm surprised we're getting this now. Like, it feels like out of nowhere. I don't Trisha. I'm going away. Forever. Ah. For <sighs> Wow, she's fucking brave to just accept that. The chill basis. Silly man, it's okay for you to cry. <laughs> she's so sweet. No wonder they tried so hard to bring her back. What a great mum. Oh. And it was so hard for him. Oh, he's a really interesting character. <laughs> he's not quite as emotionless as I perceived him to be don't throw it away oh thank god Just a little while longer. I thought he was gonna throw it in the fire Smith go back and report sir oh no like are we following these guys for a reason is it gonna be the fucking guys <laughs> the sins or even just one of the sins Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! What the fuck? You want it too, don't you? What I want is to kill you! <laughs> of course. The day when this dream comes true, will my men share in this gift as well? Mm. Or is it only for me? Good question. I can tell you when the time comes. Mm. And if I refuse, I'll just be swapped out for some other pawn. True. Probably demoted. So, do I accept his you, I think you have to accept and go along with it for now. I'm sorry to disturb you, but the underground tunnel advance team... Have died. What's this about an underground tunnel? 
Right. Let's move. Mm. Hold on a sec. What the heck? It has to look convincing. Cool. <laughs> this is Mr. Zolf J. Kimbley. He's General Raven's honor. <sighs> Kimbley. Kimbley. I see. Now I understand your nickname. Uh, <laughs> if one more person makes that mistake. <laughs> nice to meet you. What happened? We lost all contact with the advanced team that was sent down to search the tunnel. They were stabbed Shortly by shad a shadow with eyes. Turn. And his horse can't lead us back. It's too terrified to be of any use. Uh, understandably. And Thank so goodness the horse didn't die. Party. Put him back and seal the tunnel's entrance, General. But there are still men. I am speaking to the General. Uh... See, I pay the power. Isn't that the way it works? Not used to seeing All her not in charge. All metal like they were filming her from above below, which is not what you, they normally do with her. Central. I've heard a great deal about you. I actually didn't realize how short she was until then. It appears you've been and seal up the tunnel's opening. <laughs> General Armstrong's on our side now, full metal. Uh, Be quiet and obey. She's got a plan. Just obey trust the her. Holds the power. So that's the monster. He's still awake. Well, um, good morning, sloth. I'm still sleepy. You'd best wake up. Pride explained it to you now, didn't he? Uh, oh, guess. God. What a pain. Oh, well. What's he doing? Not to worry. <sighs> He's a chimera doing some work for the central forces. Of course. I'm counting on you, soldiers. It's people Push like him in. Who make this country what it is. That's my facial expression as well. You three, <laughs> those two look. We're looking with really angry looks. The girl with the black and white cat. Right. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Oh. Of course. Hey, family. They were weak and deserved to perish for the uh, good of their betters. Okay, man. It must suck for her having to like listen to this garbage. Care. You were imprisoned for killing officers. Why mm -hmm. would they release you? True. I'm grateful for your assistance. You're a true servant to your country. Get your I hand off me. My superiors about preparing a seat for you. I don't like how he's like rubbing her shoulder as well. What's that? Oh! Ha ha ha! The left or right? Oh, you fucking legend! Growing before you became so afraid of your own mortality. <laughs> sure, long ago you had an earn. You were going to be one of the chosen ones. Don't give a fuck. You would have been one of us. I don't need her. Too long. Right about now, Raven. You <laughs> traitor! Oh shit! Yes! <laughs> you are among the weak who have become the foundation for this country. Literally. Oh! I was going to. Covering him in cement! Oh! Now, the rest of you, we have work to do! Olivier, that was fucking awesome! Nice and level. Right! I love her! I'm just glad I'm not stuck talking to that guy anymore. Hmm. I don't know how much longer I could have lasted. Yeah. That I have permission to act in whatever way that I see fit. That decision came down from the Fuhrer himself. Shit, man. Full Metal saw this coming. Mm -hmm. So he made us this secret passage into the tunnel. Hell yeah. He... She killed him? Knew there was a reason that she's in charge. Yep. Oh, fuck, uh, Wembley's here. Boys, I... You should be grateful. I brought a visitor with me to see you. A visitor? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Why? We're auto mail for the north, don't you? And just Aww. what are you doing in that cell? I was worried about you, idiot. Someone from Henry. the military contacted me, so the I came. Military? Care. You? He wanted to make sure you were taken care of. Oh my God! Don't touch Winry. No! Fuck! Oh, there's still more. Raven and Kimberly. That's all the information I have for now. Thank you. Thank you for the Thanks information. That's not much to go on. A bouquet of flowers might help you next time. <laughs> I'm better off without. I have a message for you from Olivier Mira Armstrong. Oh? 
I'll take every flower you have in that cart. <laughs> great episode. Again, again, a really great episode. This show is this show is uh having some really good stuff in the middle here, I think. Like this arc uh feels really good. Like it's it's weird because I feel like on paper, this sounds like an arc that I wouldn't like that much. Um but like that I, you know, that like, cause they go into like a new location and they're in like a place that we're, we're not as used to and introduced to new characters all of a sudden. And um, like, I, I don't know. And like being away from Winry up until this point, I mean, obviously now Winry's back in it, but um, just like a lot of the stuff that's in this arc feels like, oh, this is something that I wouldn't, I wouldn't super enjoy and I just want them to get back to the main city or whatever but like this has been some of my favorite stuff in the show so far and I don't know why I well I do know one of the reasons is Olivier but I don't think it's only Olivier like I just think this setting actually seems kind of cool um, and their pr priorities are pretty cool I guess um, but yeah like I, I don't know I guess it's like Part of it is that I really don't know what to expect from it. I don't know. Like, it feels like we're kind of at least on even ground with the villains now. Like, it felt like the villains were, like, several steps ahead before. And so it was like, we are constantly playing catch-up. But now it's like, we kind of know some of their plans and we're doing plans against them. They're also countering with their own plans and so... It's now like a more fair tug of war, where before it seemed like it was like a very one-sided fight. So I think that's something that's very enjoyable. Um, crazy they started this episode with a flashback of Hohenheim out of nowhere. Like, like I like I really loved that flashback of Hohenheim, and and I can't wait to f find out more and and um and go go deep into that character. But like, why now? You know, there, there wasn't anything related to Hohenheim for the rest of the episode. Um, it's not like in the previous episodes they were setting up any Hohenheim related stuff. Like, it felt like a very strange place to put that flashback. So much so that I had to check that I was watching the right episode a couple times. Because I was like, this, this is episode 36, right? Like, there, there was nothing leading up to this. But it was a great backstory. Um, it kind of turns that character around for me where I I thought you know he, like he was pretty apathetic but it actually seems like it's the opposite he's actually quite emotional and that's a big issue <laughs> um but like he really did love his family a lot and wanted to um be able to grow old with them wanted to be able to not you know, be immortal and instead like live a normal life with them, which is very sweet. Man, I I love uh, the mother. I can't remember what her name is. I keep thinking Carla in my head because I think she kind of looks like Carla from Attack on Titan, Eren's mom. Um, but and also she serves a similar role in the story. But um, but she's like she was really great. I love the the way she supports Hohenheim. I loved basically everything she said in the episode. Getting the photo for them, um, and just like having that photo showing that like in the photo he was standing there and crying. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was such a good moment. Um, man, the scene where Olivier kills Raven is so satisfying. After that whole episode of her having to bite her tongue and just like listen to all of his bullshit and is like slowly building up rage and then just like in that one scene when he's when he's like got his hand on her shoulder and is rubbing her shoulder she just fucking stabs him through the arm oh that's amazing that was so satisfying <laughs> i just i love it like no bullshit you know just just stabs him through the arm cuts him down and then buries him in cement so he will, in her words, be literally the foundation for their country. Like, that's just fucking awesome. Um, and fucking Wembley, not Wembley, Kimbley. I always say Wembley. Kimbley um, brought Winry. I, I guess uh, that's an, uh, an understandable mistake now because I was fusing Winry and Kimbley. Um, but he brought 
Winry, which is fucked. It's great because I want Winry to be in this show. Like, I, I'm glad that she's here because she might be able to participate and we get to see more of her and stuff. But her being here means she's in grave, grave danger. And I was just thinking about it while watching and I was like, oh, the ED is all based around Winry. And now they could be doing that because um they're trying to like set up the stakes of like she's uh like a hostage you know or they could be doing it as like a final tribute so that when if and when she dies it's gonna be like a really sad ed to watch in hindsight and i'm hoping it's not the latter i'm hoping it's just to set up the stakes oh man all right let's move on to the next episode this is episode 37 of full metal alchemist brotherhood here we go <laughs> So what's the story with these guys? They showed up under the pretext of escorting Ms. Rockbell, but I'm not buying that. Mm-hmm. Naomi, he's got some kind of plan for us here. Yeah, I'm sure they want to protect Winry so badly. The first homunculus. Oh. Mm. I'll have them released within no time at all. <sighs> Thanks, Thanks Kimberly. Kimberly. These two are lucky to have you watching out for them. It's mm. nothing. Don't infect Winry. He seems nice. Listen to his voice, Winry. <laughs> He's doing the Shigaraki voice. Is it true? We had been dispatched to help them, but it was too late by the time we got there. I'm sorry. Thank you for trying. Oh man, he connected with her on the way they over. true to their duty. I mean, I knew right away that it was their daughter. The thought of you kept them strong during the worst of the war. <laughs> oh, no wonder she thinks he's nice. And it's an honor to meet you. Well, that's the sweet story. Any idea what that psychopath but he's a scumbag. I've only got Lieutenant Hawkeye's experiences to go by. That's true, and mature of you to realize that. Speaking of Winry, <laughs> you're in love with her. <laughs> and now Winry's so close to you. Oh my god. Just think about something else. Try to think about something else. Or just kiss Winry right now. Why did I have to fall in love with such a weirdo? <gasps> did you say something? Oh? No, Ed, I didn't say anything. What the fuck? That was crazy. Uh, the idea of connecting the nerves, that so makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> but I doubt you'll notice. It's pretty heavily reinforced. That's a fucking really cool looking arm. <laughs> There's nothing left for me. Is Winry gonna fan go? Yes, of course she is. <laughs> She's fully modified. It's a specially crafted model. <laughs> Who's the girl? She's too cute to be hanging around you. <laughs> She's my mechanic. She's so cute. <laughs> oh my god. Because life isn't fair. <laughs> Not fair, you have such a cute mechanic. Okay, I will be. Winry's so cute! I don't want anything to happen to her. And I'm actually, I'm really scared that something might. In care of and out of the way. So why don't we find a place to sit down? If Raven's fate is discovered, I order you to solely place the blame on me. Wow. Great job. Yes, General. That's a good thing to say to your men. Madame Olivier believes they have a chance. Yes, please get Mustang in the fray. Madame Olivier needs the strength of your army, not you. Oh. She said you might as well just get lost. <laughs> huh. What's stopping me from warning Fuhrer Bradley? Well, you are. Who you she are? She assured me you weren't that kind of man. Yeah. Oh, just someone who served the Armstrong family <laughs> for generations. Uh, you're an Armstrong? <laughs> 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 Ladies, would you like to come and pick up some flowers? We have to get out of here. It's coming back. What shit, man? Please. Shit, man. Get rid of the lights. Hey, you're all right. Now. It's, it's so creepy those come on, eyes. Pull together. <laughs> you walk. Let's go. Try to help the huh. as much as you can. It retreated. Don't you worry. I'll make sure that he does. Well, mm. thank you. I appreciate it. Oh! Oh, that was scary. Yes, come, Salim. 
You need your proper rest. Otherwise, man, Bradley's family is so cute. I know. He's the pride of my life. I know it's impolite to brag about my son, but that shouldn't apply since he's adopted. <laughs> really Fair enough. So oh no. Wait. Wait. I mean, the King Bradley was raised as a test subject. He doesn't yeah. have any family. Yeah. Uh oh. He know his parents. Could he be? So put it all together. Oh shit. She just doesn't know how to shut up. Oh no. It's the same bloodlust I felt when Gluttony tried to attack me. From oh behind. God. Considering the circumstance, such bravery. Oh. I'm guessing you're a the shadows. like Gluttony. I'm offended that you would even put Gluttony and me in the same league. Uh huh. You ask my name. It's Pride. Your Pride? The first among us. Oh shit! Full metal alchemist. Wow, cool, cool art. Old cool art. What do you mean by that? So we Just do have a pride. You. Have you considered switching sides and joining us? Why would I? Oh. That's too bad. Oh well. This like hand power is really creepy. Oh. Just remember, Lieutenant. No matter where you are. Well, cool shot. You. From the shadows. <laughs> cool fucking shot. Ah. Uh, imagine being suspicious of your own shadow. And last but not least, he wants you to carve a crest of blood here. Carve a crest, crest of, blood? of blood? It's very simple. We kill everyone and soak the land with their blood. Oh my I god! Take part. I'm gonna... curious to see how the world will change. What? Both sides clashing. Will against will. Uh -huh. Life versus. I just plan on helping it make up its mind. Have you forgotten that That's you're a human? How can you take sides with fucked them? Fucked up. Chosen my sanity over yours. I stake my being. God. The very core of my own existence. <laughs> this guy's this fucked. I'm willing to bet on the outcome of this battle. That's surprising. I had always kind of assumed that self-centeredness was a universal trait of all out. Yeah, I mean, I actually do kind of understand your motivations, well, then, but. Something you and your brother want more than anything. Your bodies? And if you do what we ask, the Philosopher's Stone. I'll give it to you. Yeah. But you're not telling her without me there. I don't want you telling her too much. Oh. I don't want you there though. You'll kill the mood. No. I'm sorry. Oh, oh the guilt. Me to hold you down. The guilt she would feel. Cry. I'm just upset at myself for being so naive. I'm God, sorry. she's such a good character. All Holy shit! To do is get your original bodies back again. Oh. About that. Don't. But that's right. Kimberly has one. We can't, brother. The mm -hmm. ingredients for a stone. I are... know, Al. Yeah. But you want your bodies back? Go ahead and do what you want. Oh. That that I think that might have been a look of trust. Like there's pouting Set there. Up. I'm in. But I think he was looking at him like, trust me. Finding Scar is the one who murdered Winry's parents. They deserve vengeance. Is he gonna like recruit Scar? Don't worry, brother would never actually use one. Yeah. There's a girl that's been working with Scar. We think that yeah. she can teach it to us. Okay, so, that makes sense. Is he going after Scar to find this girl? Hmm. I think so. Okay, so they did trust each other. I guess I had better hurry up and come up with a believable excuse. Huh? To what? Mm. One more! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Winry? She's coming along. What if there's a malfunction? She it needs to be there. The bell name if I'm not there to fix it. You're a workaholic. And proud of it, too. Uh, this has been my favorite. <laughs> well, then, this is great. But still, I can't just sit around waiting anymore. Oh, fucking awesome. I love her. Winry is so great. I love her. I know I've said it so many times, but every time she does something on screen, I remember why I love this character. She's, I mean, she's brilliantly voiced. Um, but like her, her and her character design is adorable and like really cool um, Her role in the show is awesome. She has an actual like great role to play that other people can't do um, 
and like I just love seeing her growth and her priorities. I like the scene where like she finds out that she's been she's being used as a hostage and because she came here it's put Al and Edward in danger which she didn't realize she was doing she thought she was just coming to help them but and she like starts to panic and then she goes I won't cry I won't cry I'm just frustrated at myself I really like that because she knows she's someone like I you know she should be allowed to cry of course and there's not nothing wrong with crying and that's you know an appropriate time to cry but she's like trying to to steal herself and she knows that she is constantly um the one to cry at situations like this and um and it's almost like you know she might be thinking of it as this is like people may interpret this as me trying to make people feel sorry for me and so I don't want that to happen I'm going to try to be strong and I'm going to keep a level head. I'm not just going to let my emotions sweep me away here. And I'm going to, like, I'm frustrated with myself, but I'm going to think about what I can do now. And it's just, it's so great, because that's some great growth for her character. Um, and, but also, like, acknowledging she still has that emotional part of, of her character as well. Like, she can be emotional while also, like, understanding when to hold back her emotions and, and when to use them properly and let them out. Um, so it's great. It's, she's so great. And then, then now, now she's like coming along with us and she came up with a way to come along and also like delivered it in such a way that like, doesn't like it, it, it kind of just makes her seem like she's just being a mechanic, you know, and she's, she's not doing this necessarily because, um, because she's, you know, friends with them and is going along with their plan or whatever, but rather like she's being stubborn and doing something that even they don't want her to do because of the the arm and trying to fix the arm. So Kimberly's like, yeah, whatever, do it, because he doesn't see that to be a threat. So that's great. I really like it. Um, and wow, okay, what a reveal that Salim is pride. I don't, I didn't see that coming. I don't think. I, I like. Admittedly, I can't remember the things I predicted because with this show, I tend to forget a lot of stuff between recording sessions. Um, but uh, I don't think I ever predicted that Salim was a homunculus. I, like, that's so sad. <laughs> that's like, that's really sad because I, I liked Salim a lot. Um, and he, like, he seems like a really evil homunculus. He's pride. It's crazy. I think they even said last episode didn't pride explain this to you or something and i think like i in my head i i guess i like replaced that with wrath like i thought i thought they were talking about uh bradley but Br but bradley's not pride he's wrath so um so yeah i just i just completely forgotten you know um and so that was like that was a, a shock to me even though they like teased it last episode i think i think they said pride um but uh but yeah i mean that like shadow power thing that he has i don't know how it works within the power system of the show maybe they'll explain it or maybe it's just like a cool thing and they don't need to explain it but um but yeah like that shadow thing the shadows reaching their hands out and like the way it like wrapped around hawkeye and like grabbed her face and stuff was pretty terrifying so um yeah wow cool villains they got some cool villains here and it's it's great do we have okay are we missing anyone now let's see Let, let's I, i'm i'm just going to like look at a list of the seven deadly sins right um seven deadly sins list right um okay so pride yes we have pride that's salim greed yep we've got greed um Wrath, yep, that's Bradley. Envy, yep, we got Envy. Lust, she's dead, but we had Lust. Gluttony, yes, and Sloth. That's the seven deadly sins. I think we've got them all. Right? That, that was the last one. Huh, okay. So, I... I, Because I was wondering, early in this show, they had, like, a few of the sins, and I thought... And I can't remember if I said this or not, but I thought, like, it's a little weird if they use some of the sins, but not all of them. But as the show was going on, I was like, oh, I guess they're not using all of them. Um, but they're using all of them. <laughs> They've done it. 
they've they've gone through all of them now so that's that's crazy that also makes me think that we're probably not introducing any more villains now we got hohenheim and we got the seven deadly sins and that's i like i feel like that's you know and i cool i say hohenheim like not not fully understanding what's going on with the Hohenheim storyline yet. I'm just for now calling him and whatever the other, like the father is or whatever. I'm calling them Hohenheim, not knowing. I'll figure it out. <laughs> but we got the seven sins. So I don't, I don't feel like we're going to get any more like, oh, this person's a homunculus. I feel like that's it for the, those twists in this series. But who knows? Maybe they'll shock me and maybe... Because there was also, wasn't there like Vainglory or something that's like supposed to be a sin? Let me look it up. Um, that was like originally one uh, a sin. Um, and they like removed it or whatever. Vainglory is unjustified b boasting. Pope Gregory viewed it as a form of pride. So he folded Vainglory into pride for his listing of sins. So yeah, I think I think originally Vainglory was one of the sins. Pretty good information that I had in my head, huh? Are you impressed? I, I'm a, a bit of a scholar myself, um, but yeah, I, Vainglory, I remember was also one of the sins. But as I just read out, it was uh, it was folded into um, pride. Um, but yeah, anyway. That is Full Metal Alchemist um, Brotherhood episodes 36 and 37. Thank you for joining me. Make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account if you want full-length early access and exclusive videos. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.